funny is that our families actually go way back, but we had never met each other until high school. So I was like a uh, sophomore and John was a senior or somewhere in there. And uh, he and his sister Hannah started working at the farm and he didn't know who I was, but I was going for one of my afternoon walks and I happened to cross his uh, station where he was doing you pick checkout. And uh, right, you remember all this? Oh yeah, no, <laughs> and I'll probably correct this story because you, you make it sound like you were just being very logically inclined with taking over my register station. Can you while edit all of this walking. out? Because he's being real sass. No, I'm not being real sass. Real sass. No, there has tonight. to be a little bit of sass. Holy moly, the sass. A little bit of sass. Tonight. Okay, so anyway, um, so I go over to his station, and there's this gal that needs help on the register, so I jump on the register to help her out, and he sees me on the register, and so he comes running over oh, and no. shoves me out of the way, and he's like, <clears throat> who do you think you are running my register? You know, we were young, immature, obnoxious people, and uh, I looked at him real, real stern, and I said, uh, you don't know who I am, do you? And he said, no, I don't know who you are. And I said, my father pays your paycheck, thinking that I was something real important. And uh, yes, that was the beginning of John's and my very fun, uh, zany, and uh, mildly challenging <laughs> relationship <laughs> in the best way. And uh, we did not like each other very much for about six months. That was sort of the, the basis, huh? Yep. For about six months. Yeah. And then we became friends because we realized each other was equally obstinate, which we liked. And then uh, we were friends for about three years, right? Pretty good friends. Yeah. And we started going to Bible studies together and stuff, and hiking a lot together and things like that. And then we realized, wow, we actually have a lot in common. And we kind of love each other. So I think it was like three and a half years of any engagement. And then, yeah. Blissful. <laughs> I don't think that it was intimidating joining the Riley family. Um, I, I don't know, by the time that I joined the family, it was like I was already kind of joined at the hip. I had been doing stuff with them for years and years. They're all really close. Yeah, we were all close. Like, Seth was my best friend, uh, her older brother. Uh, her cousins, we all, like, hung out. It was just, like, like it, it was more of a transition over a period of time. Uh, so, and, and we all, yeah, went to Bible study together and went on trips together, road trips. Yeah. So, you were really one of the tribe very yeah. quickly. Yeah, yeah don't things. work together. <gasps> what do you mean? No, we try not to. Ah, what do you mean? <laughs> we try to each run our departments and we do stuff for each other, but we try not to be like directly in the same realm because yeah. I think if you end up directly in the same realm, somebody's going to end up being the boss and somebody's going to end up being the employee. It's good for us to be complementary uh, partners, if mm -hmm. that makes sense, in business. Yeah. And, you know, we're, we're business owners and um, department heads, and so that can get really complicated really fast if you're trying to figure out who's the authority in each thing. So we basically run our departments and then help each other with whatever the other person needs pretty frequently. But John's our full-time accountant, and uh, he runs all of our tech and our websites and everything, which is a pretty massive job with the scale of business that we are now. And I do, you know, our marketing and events that I run Wilshire's and he helps me with all of those things a lot too. Which I think is really nice because we both get to use our degrees a lot yeah. in what we do. Like oh, I'm yeah. constantly referencing stuff that I learned at CBU. Yeah. We yeah. both went to Cal Baptist. I, and I would say that uh, having the experience of working in a, a leadership type position slash upper management position while going to college for business I mean, we weren't full on leadership levels, but we were pretty close to the top. Uh, and getting those educational classes concurrently while you're working was very helpful. Um, we could directly take a lesson that you're learning in class in theory yeah, and, apply it right and go away. either apply it right away or be able to determine, oh, that that's not going to work because you've already seen it play out mm -hmm. in a practical scenario. Yeah. So we just had a, well, a, our daughter. Um, it's hard to tell what, how it's specifically changed because 
the whole last year was such a weird year yeah. that kind of threw everything off. So it wasn't like, oh, everything's normal, 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 have a baby, and now everything's different. It was like, everything is weird, have a baby. Everything gets even weirder after you have a baby. <laughs> yeah, so and we because, found out Yeah. just after I got pregnant, we found COVID closures happened. Um, so it was sort of a, you know, kind of scary time. I was just getting into my second trimester, kind of scary, bizarre. We didn't know what was happening. Well, it was a year um, of natural disasters. It was a year of natural disasters for sure, because it that happened. And then started it was with this freak snowstorm, a freak snowstorm that wiped out tons of trees. We were out of power. This was actually when I found out I was pregnant. We, we had this massive snowstorm, yep. um, that literally the day after or something like that. And it wiped out tons of trees and we were out of electricity for a week and it was just destructomania around here. And then COVID happened when I hit my second trimester, um, all the closures happened. And then when I had her, we were under evacuation orders because we had a raging wildfire that was literally like at our back door threatening uh, the whole other side of our business. And then uh, when she turned one month old, we had another fire where we did evacuate, but it was literally you and my dad and Emma all fighting the fire. And Seth. Yeah, and don't Seth, forget oh, Seth. No, of course not. <laughs> Seth and was Seth on the tractor Sophie, his the wife Sophie, water trailer. And they were fighting the fire. And that was when she turned one month old. Um, and then we had no power here and our whole house smelled like smoke. We barely, barely didn't burn for down like with that. Two weeks, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for two weeks we were evacuated. Just, she was only a month old then. Yeah. And then when she turned two months old, then we had our barn fire and we lost everything. So we lost literally what John and I had been spending the last 10 years of our life and all of our marriage working on was gone. Um, and it was pretty devastating, but you know, the Lord is really showing us a lot. And I think Jojo has been, our daughter has been such a blessing in all of that. <laughs> Don't you? Oh yeah. To have yeah. a smiling that's, face. Oh yeah. There was <laughs> totally a lot unexpected. of smiling and yeah, totally not realizing all the bad things that had happened. Yeah. And that was a very positive thing through all that. Yeah. And so who knows what the future holds? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, before we thought we knew what the future held and we were wrong. <laughs> yeah. And so, I mean, who knows what what'll be happening in 10 years. We might be here. We might be somewhere far away. We might be just down the road. <laughs> Dead. <Ooh. laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Well, I mean. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I ruined your wrap-up. That's probably sad. <laughs> you ruined the wrap-up. You just threw dead into the middle of that one. God has provided so far, and we're in the palm of his hand, and we have found that out more than ever through all these trials, and he's brought us through thus far. This is Josephine. <gasps> Josephine! Happy Josephine. Most of the time, happy Josephine. <gasps> so this is Josephine, our daughter. Usually very happy, but tonight not so much. <laughs> oh. uh, so we just want to give you a little quick home tour, so follow me. Home from 1916, and it was originally just these floors here, four walls and a bathroom, and that was it. And uh, seasonal employees would come up and they would work the season. There was bunks all through this property here, this house here, and then uh, they would go home in the off season. So we decided to renovate it, make it into kind of a cute vintage farmhouse. Um, so we have a kitchen, a couple bedrooms, um, and then we kept some of the feel with this wall here, which we turned into being kind of our artistic wall because all of the boarding here was original to the outside and we decided to bring it inside. Uh, so that we kept some of the old feel of what the house was in our new home. All right guys, so this is my art wall. Just wanted to give you a little quick tour of this. 
Um, so we really love in our house to just feature some of our friends that are local artists um, or really just feature pieces that mean a lot to John and I. Um, so this one here in particular I wanted to show you because it's actually of the old Riley's Farm Packing Barn, which is where my parents started off and that's where I grew up until I was eight. And this was done by John Hughes, which is one of our reenactor friends from way back in the day when we did Civil War reenactments over at the farm. So John and I are super into entertaining. We just love to host. It's been something that we're always very passionate about doing because we're very social people. That's why we're in the business that we're in because we get to host people all the time. And one of the fun things that we got to host a couple years ago was actually the farm to table dinner, uh, which now has become a really big hit. Oh, little Joey, you're so sad. You're so sad. You're so sad. So we actually hosted the first farm to tables that we did here at the farm right outside in our front orchard and then uh, we did all the cooking in our commercial kitchen but we did the final staging here in my kitchen so it was a lot of fun. We just had tons of staff like 10 different staff members running in and out all day and we used um, some heirloom china that I have that belonged to my husband's grandma. So we got to use that on our big feasting table for the dinner. So it was a lot of fun. So we very much so live off the land, <laughs> live out of our homes, work out of our homes, bring people into our homes as part of the business. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. so we don't have to travel far from the doorway in the dining room into the kitchen. Um, but John and I both love to cook uh, and we love to use local ingredients as much as possible, obviously off the farm. So my sister Emma, she loves to grow uh, her own tomatoes, so we frequently will use those in a lot of our cooking. Um, we have a couple of local olive oil distilleries, so we love to use their olive oils. But most important thing in the kitchen for most of you guys out there will know this is the coffee pot. So we love our coffee. We usually have a cup of coffee in the morning, a cup of coffee at night. It's our favorite thing. Uh, and we use locally roasted uh, wild goose coffee and we also source them for our coffee shop. So we are big fans, but that is definitely our number one used appliance. And we like to experiment with, with a lot of different types of coffee making tools. Um, so my husband likes to use, there's a Russian uh, coffee pot that he likes to kind of play around with to make some different flavors in his coffee. But we always go to the French press, that's always one of our favorites. All right, so follow me, I'm gonna take you to one of our favorite spots in the whole house. One of my favorite spots in the whole house is this, which isn't even in the house, but it's the view. Check out this afternoon sunset view. It's the best, we just love it. And this is one of our favorite things about living on the farm, working on the farm, is getting to wake up and experience this and walk to work and then walk home to work to our cottage house. So we love it. It's been an absolute blessing and uh, we pray for many, many more years here. All right guys, well that's it for this video. We'll see you next week, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon.